L'honorable député de Longueuil Saint Hubert. The honourable member for Longueuil Saint Hubert. The member for Battle River Crowfoot. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker, and I appreciate uh, the speech ma made by by my colleague. Uh, just a few constituencies over. Um, uh, one of the big challenges that I have is is comparing this this BIA and the budget with the the Liberals' dismal record on accountability. I know we've pointed out the hundred billion dollar so called green slush fund. Um, we we only need to look back at the pandemic and see some of the challenges associated with uh, with We Charity and other scandals to. Uh, contracts given to Liberal insiders. I'm wondering if if uh, my colleague has more comments on just the lack of accountability that exists within this budgetary framework. Uh, the Honourable Member for Edmonton West. That's a great comment from my colleague from Battle River Crowfoot. We talk about accountability. It's been in the papers a lot about the, the Canadian Emergency Wage, wage Subsidy. It's the largest support program of the COVID uh, crisis, $100 billion. We heard money has gone to wealthy hedge fund managers. We've heard it's gone to multinational corporations. We even heard we were giving taxpayers money to a Chinese state-owned company. Now, when we asked the President of the Treasury Board what oversight he provided for this $100 billion, did it go through the Treasury Board process as required? You know what his comment was? I don't know. His job is to oversee the spending and he didn't even know whether it went through the process. It didn't, and the results are showing.